Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to attempt to assemble the Spear & Jackson electric lawn mower. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. I have over 99% of people viewing my videos that are not subscribed. These are all the items which I showed you in part one. Top handle, cable, body of the lawn mower, lower handle, parts for assembly and the grass box and of course the instructions. So let's see what we get in this bag here. Quick start guide. Two of them. Four of them. And these must be for the cables. So the first thing in the instruction manual is to pop this cable retain relief through the lower bar like so. Next I have to slide the two fixing blocks to the end of the lower handle. So. That there must slide in. On that one, like so. Next, I am going to fix the quick release handles and the bottom bar to the lower mower. Now I've just noticed that there's two different kinds. There's one with a long metal attachment and one with a round. So I'm presuming the one for the round is for the top handle and the one for the bottom with the rectangular metal washer is for the lower handle fix that in there so make sure guys that the fixing blocks are aligned to both holes on either side of the lower handle so the quick release handle can fit through the hole so we'll have some fun now and try and fix the lower handle to the body of the lower mower nice and easy. So screw the fixing handle into the holes on either side. Now I'm going to attach the quick release lock to the upper handle. Firstly unscrew both bolts from the quick release locks like so. Then place the upper handle 
against the lower handle. So remove this washer. Place it through the hole that side. Pop that through the hole there. Pop the washer on and screw in the handle. So do the same to the other side. Next, get your cable clips and attach one to the upper bar and one to the lower bar. For this cable retain relief that we put on first, slip this cable through like that and that should keep the electric cable away from the body of the grass box. So next we will assemble the grass box. The grass box has a metal frame where the sides and the base will slide into. Tricky, but we'll get there. There you go, there's one in. Two. Can you see? It has a little groove it'll slide in there. It's as simple as that. Before I attach the grass box to the main body of the lawn mower, you can see that either side has a piece of metal sticking out. This is to secure the grass box to the main body of the lawn mower. If I open it up, you can see the catch there and the catch there and that will secure the grass box to the body of the lawn mower. So let's go and do that now. So put it in and slide it down. Just some quick tips before I go. When you are assembling the fixing block to the lower handle, make sure that it is pushed firmly into the bottom so that the holes will align up. Another tip was rather than pushing the grass box into place, um, place it in um, from the top and push it down into the grooves on either side. Um, also, the instructions weren't very good which quick release handles to place, whether the one with the round washer goes there or the one with the rectangular washer goes there. I just looked at the box. As you can see, the round washer is there. Also, with regards to the handle, I just looked at the picture. 
So basically the picture on the box of the lawnmower was more informative than following the instructions. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Part 3 coming soon. Thank you for watching me assemble the Spear and Jackson electric lawnmower.